Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Boys, let's go. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Yo, boys, you like this? Boys. Boys, look at them all coming in. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's go, Astro. Let's go. Yo, let's go, Thumers. We're getting chat, chat bot, follow bot, and, uh, boys, I'll see you in, like, three weeks. <laughs> All right. Pastel pink in the sunset. You know I never want to make you upset. How did I become so upset? Hey, what is up, YouTube? Before this video starts, I just want to start off by saying I stream every day on Twitch, so that link will be down in the description. I'd appreciate it if you could go check that out. And so we've got a few stories to talk about today. Uh, first off, we got what you guys saw there in the intro. Um, so basically, what happened there is I saw my followers, my follows just getting spammed, and they were all within a few seconds of each other, right? So... I'm sitting here and I'm thinking of getting follow botted and at the end of the day it turns out it was a raid from this discord server and I had never heard of it and it was a it was a server with over 6,000 people and so everyone's telling me like it's a real raid because like I'm showing my friends I'm like yeah I got I got I got follow botted I'm gonna have to fix it with that commander root software if you haven't heard about commander root it's a great software to help you guys out with getting rid of fake follow bots. I do want to point out that you can remove real followers with this and to be very careful with it. Um, but yeah, so I'm talking to my friends and because I've heard about chat botting in the past and I thought I thought that was a thing that could happen. And apparently it's not, or it might be, but it wasn't what was happening. But they were all spamming very similar messages because in the Discord server, what happened is I guess the there was a admin that had pasted my link and told them all to go spam like two lines and it was like off brand ninja and Noxo touches little kids or something like that. And I guess Noxo is like some guy that they give a ton of crap to and it's like all a joke. But so that happened and then so I started up and there's like a few left over and they're talking about how like they were they were real people and whatever because I I had I had said like like you saw in the clip because that was a clip right from my Twitch I thought I was getting follow about it I was just gonna go offline so I didn't have to deal with it um but then I come back online after deciding that they're real people and so I'm talking to the few of them that are still left in my chat and I'm only at like my 20 viewers normal right and so I'm talking with them and someone told me to like go look at my stats and I wasn't sure if I could or not because it had just ended and like it was because the stream still counted as a part of it right because like that's how twitch works it like connects your two streams if they're within like a close enough radius and so I'm looking and of course me being stupid ended the stream with a hundred viewers so I ended up coming back into the stream and I was really, really butthurt. Um, like I legit lost it. I was like freaking out for like five to 10 minutes about how I had a hundred viewers and it would have made it easy for me to leave. Uh, what is comforting is a few, like a stream or two later, they had raided another Twitch streamer, I guess. Cause you know, some of them are still coming back. Like there's just one named Oinkles, I think that had told me about it. Right. And so they they raided like this other girl today and she had like 95 viewers and she went from like 95 to 16 in like five minutes he said so the good news is it wouldn't have lasted that long or at least we don't think like we don't know for sure right like because who knows who knows right maybe maybe they uh maybe they do enjoy my content but maybe they don't like i know winkle said he doesn't even like fortnite but he's still there like that's the thing with twitch is like everyone's so nice dude and, like communities are so great i'm in such a great community of small streamers and it's like insane some of the people i'm knowing like i'm getting i'm building so many connections with so many people and i'm hoping they can be like lifelong friendships so if you haven't started streaming on twitch and you do want to do it i highly recommend it, it is really fun um but i think that's basically 
all I have to talk about with that. So story number two is going to be about basketball and everything I've had going on during quarantine with that because the for me, I have AAU, and then there is also, so there's AAU, and then there's school basketball. And school basketball, it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing anything all too hard for the summer. It's just going to be a lot of stuff in my driveway. I'm not able to go out and actually be there with my coach. Physically, we aren't allowed to get together until at least august right now and who knows if that extends or not hopefully we'll have winter sports if i miss my junior year of basketball you already know i'm gonna be salty all right but so yeah we've got like this whole um google doc or we have yeah it's a, a team it's a folder on google drive right and so we have uh a bunch of stuff that he has set up for us to do and we're doing like uh zoom zoom calls every week so we can Go over game film and just get ready hopefully for the winter season the best we can because with basketball not being able to be there for the summer it's so weird you know everything's so weird during this time because like it's so different from normal right um it's something that happens every hundred years so it's not like anyone was really ready for it right it's not something you're really prepared for because it's really a once in a lifetime thing and so we um we are going to be doing these calls, we're going to be going over film and whatnot, and we're just going to be hopefully getting ready for everything. Um, so yeah, that, that's okay. The only problem with that is it pushes my stream backs on streams on Monday back to like 8.30, right? So on Mondays, holy crap, I'm tired, on Mondays. On Mondays, my streams won't be starting at 6.30. They'll be starting hopefully around 8, 8.30, maybe 9 o'clock, depending on how long those calls go. Usually, they're going to be 7.30 to 8.30. That's like the goal range. Um, yeah, and then there is AAU, right? And so AAU is a little different. AAU, we're actually there. We're playing games. We're having practices. They're all in the same location. We had to sign a waiver in case anything happened. But everything about it is just so stupid. Like, it's so controversial. Like, you legit, as a player, okay? As a player, you gather, you, so they make you, like, gather for, for games, right? This is for games. For practices, I don't even put a mask on. I legit walk in, I walk out. Um, for games, though. For games, you can ga you gather, you have to gather as your group and send a text to someone inside so they know your, your group is ready. And so... You can gather as your group outside. They won't be upset if you're not wearing masks out there. You get to the door though, right? And you're about to go in. You got to put the mask on. They take your temperature, right? You walk into the building. The second you get to the bench, you take your mask off. And then you're around the same people. Like, it's so stupid. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. I mean, like, you, you're you up in everyone's faces, but you got to wear a mask when you're around them, you know, walking in. I mean... To be fair, it is the rules that they came up with. That's like the CDC crap, dude. They're so stupid, though. Like, I don't know. It's just the CDC, though. Like, the CDC makes so, so much stupid rules. Like, it's so controversial. Everything just goes against everything, you know? Like, at this point, it's like, whatever. You, you wear a mask, you don't. Uh, I'm just... I don't know. I don't know. I hate um, online learning. So if I'm doing online learning again, you know, you ca catch me being a dropout. You know what I'm saying? But holy man, this is just, it's all, it's all so much. Yeah. If you guys have uh, any thoughts on this, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I did forget to make one announcement. I am going to only be uploading on one day, one day a week now. I'm going to be back to my Wednesday schedule because I'm struggling to come up with video ideas as well as uh actually you know getting the videos out there edited and everything uh it's a lot of work if you guys do want to see more of those you know if you guys could make this more of a full-time thing for me by sharing my videos that would help out a ton uh but yeah other than because i'm i'm getting a job so it's gonna make it even more difficult i'm gonna be working hopefully almost every day um working almost every day streaming every day and playing basketball on the weekends zoom calls you know there's just a ton going on so we'll see 
The other thing with basketball is my friend's doing 3v3s at his house on Sundays now, so whether or not I pull up to those, that will determine like when I start my stream. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Like I said, if you guys have video ideas or anything else, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that big thumbs up button and that big red subscribe button. You know, that's red, turn it gray, make it happy. About 40% of the people watching these videos are not subscribed. Can you guys believe that? We'd, we'd be able to hit 400 if you all subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. And, yeah, I guess that's it. As always, guys, it's been Volvix. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.